Okay, that's the Renault Espace from 2010. Let's see how to use the radio and CD and MP3 and things like that. Here is the radio first of all. The radio is here. You have to open it up. And that's it. That's the radio itself. And we're going to take a look there on that screen. So press the power button. Nothing happens. Nothing. Okay. Get the card. Insert it. And the dashboard is suddenly on. Renault. Okay. I'm going to press it again. Now it says FM 87.5 megahertz. Okay, so that's the volume left and right. Nothing is happening. That's the AM and FM. Up here we can see AM. FM. AM, FM. That's done by this button. Okay. Now let's go to the CD. Now suddenly those LEDs are turned on. They are green. That means that's already playing. That means that those are containing a disc inside. The first two are empty. So for example if I want to eject that one I'm going to press eject and then it's going to ask me which one to eject. So eject. Please select disk number to eject and I'm going to press let's say 3. I haven't pressed it yet and it's ejecting it. Okay so that's one disk. Let's eject another one. So that's going to disappear. It has to turn off. Eject. Please select this number. Let's go to that one. So it's storing six CDs inside. Eject five. Ejecting disk number five. Here's another one. And eject. Please select disk and six. Okay, so those are audio CDs, recordable, so that was written manually, but that one, yes, it's an audio CD. Okay, now here's an MP3, it's also written manually, just insert it, it says loading disk, reading disk, and it should play it. There are some folders there, root folder, and it's already playing. 5 seconds, 6, 7 seconds. Oh, I forgot the volume. Okay, that's the next track and previous track. Next track. Currently it's at the 4th second, 5th second, 6th second. Okay, if you want to advance it, just press down this button and hold it. And it's bringing it forward. Okay, I have to lower the volume because we have copyright problems. Okay, so that's the sixth disc. Nothing is happening if I press that one. Okay, now let's use this one. I'm going to move it up and down. Now it's reading the previous folder. Down down once again down once again and it's playing from that folder okay that's the volume down there you can control it from here also for example source audio we have these two buttons now it's on CD changer up there is visible now it's on FM radio so I just press this button, now it's on the AM radio, that one will go back, FM radio, and CD changer again. Okay, these two are for the volume, 
just pull it towards you that's volume up and volume down okay we have a button here also that one jumped to the first folder root folder so that one the lower one starts playing the music from the beginning okay let's switch to radio 87.5 nothing is there okay now let's press this one now it's showing the megahertz is I'm going to press it once again so it's jumping to different radio stations and we have a third one that one also jumps to different radio stations so you can rotate it and it will go to different radio stations it is not a button you cannot push it okay don't forget the key there because it's consuming power and that also turned off everything okay so you can turn it off from here also it does not have a card reader nor a USB input but you can control the audio from here you can control the audio from here and from here also okay let me get out my disk power it on okay let's put it first to CD now it's on and eject select with this number I haven't selected anything and it's ejecting my disk okay audio off so the radio is turned off that one is still blinking but extract the card and I think it should turn off you can also turn off the display with this button but that's only the display or you can open the driver's door and that will also turn off the displays so I'm going to open it and they are off both of them if you can close it they remain off okay another thing I cannot insert the disk it's not opening make sure it's powered on it says no disk load now insert it so I just press load CD disk 1 and so on and those are the seconds five six seven seconds okay and let's see next track and it's playing five six seven okay and if you close it it is still playing okay so one disc is being played I cannot insert the next one press load the music stopped and now I can insert it so now we have two CDs in the drive the rest of the LEDs are off Now it should read the second disc, disc 2, and the music is playing. Now it's reading the second disc, and this button will switch to the first disc. So now we are here on the second one. I will press that one. Now it's changing the disc.
the first one is blinking. Now it's reading the disc. Now it's playing the first disc. Now let's try the mode button. So I press this one. One folder repeat. One track repeat. All disc mix. One disc mix. I traffic. Traffic info off. Traffic info on. Repeat nav and mute. Proceed to the highlighted route. Proceed to the highlighted route. Proceed to the highlighted route. No, we don't want that. Load all. Select this number to load. And it's going to open the door. Yes, it's waiting for disk 3. No, we don't want. This number to eject. Now it's selected the third one. And it's ejecting the first one. <laughs> can we press it back? Yes, we can. And if the music is playing, but you're seeing the GPS there and only some info, music info down there, then just press the CD button because we are using the CDs. So pressing CD will return these folders. And you can use the mode button from this view also. All disk repeat, one disk repeat, one folder repeat, one track repeat, all disk mix. Mode button. Okay, so the music now is playing, but if I remove the key, everything will stop. And next time you insert the key again, it will play again from the same folder, from the same source. So I'm inserting for disk 4 another one. Okay, it will try to play it. Load. Now that one is blinking. And the door is opened. Now that's the fifth one. And six is not doing anything. Load. Now it's loading it to the sixth one. And it's full. Now it's reading it. Now it's off. The monitor is still on. Open the window and it's off.